everyone. Welcome back to Sara Samutsari. Sara Samutsari aims to foster positivity. So we feature how-tos and artists and places to visit. Today, I am showcasing one of my good friends and childhood classmate, um, Arlene. And so, Arlene, would you like to say a few things about yourself? Oh, hello, Sarah. Thank you for having me in your um, Samutsari. Um, I'm very flattered that you um, are uh, have showed interest in my photos and in my haiku. Um, I'm still working full-time, so I'm doing my photography and haiku on the side as a hobby. But um, I'm really very much interested in it. In fact, I'm so passionate about it. And um, I hope that I'll be able to share a few of my um, photographs and haiku and inspire some of your viewers to look it up and maybe they'll also find it interesting. Yes, that's very good. Because today, um, we I, I call this video Arlene's haikus and uh, photographs because Arlene has two Instagram accounts. One is her personal account and the other one was only her photographs. And I thought that her photographs were really beautiful. And I noticed that her captions were haikus. So I just wa I'm just wondering why uh, you chose uh, haikus. What, what's the difference between like haikus and poems? Um. Well, if you if you go to my Instagram account, I think I have a caption there that says um, capturing moments, writing haiku, my coffee has gone cold. So um, it, it's really about photography and haiku capturing moments. So so in that way, they're the same. You're caption, capturing a moment that moves you or um, caught your attention. And um, you want to share this with your viewers or your readers using images. So in the case of the um, photograph, you're using your photos to tell your viewers um, what you're seeing or, or um, what caught your attention. In the case of a haiku, you make use of words um, to share to share that moment. So the difference between a haiku and a poem i'm not a poet um in fact i'm just um <laughs> well this is this is something new to me but from what i've read um the haiku is really a very very short poem it's, it's made up of one to three lines so it's very it makes use of simple words it has to be very um, short and it makes use of images usually about nature or about um, the human experience. And um, another thing about a haiku is you don't tell the reader the emotion that you're feeling. Like, for example, you don't say in the haiku, you don't say that you're sad. Instead, you use the images that, that, um, th that you use your images to convey the feeling. I don't know if I'm making sense. So, um, if you want, I'll give you examples of haiku. Yes, um, great. Yeah. Uh, and these are the haiku that caught my attention because of their simplicity and because I can relate to them. Okay. Because like, um, I, I guess in, in a haiku or in any other poem, it's, it's your experiences also, your memories that um, affects your, like how, how that poem moves you. Yeah. Okay, so here are some of the examples I have. Like this one, I'll use my glasses, okay? From Foster Jewel. Yeah. So, under ledges and looking for the coolness that keeps touching my face. Okay. Another one is um, from Penny um, Harter. I wonder if that this is correct. In the meadow, the cow's lips wet with grass okay yeah and then another one from michael mcclintock um a poppy a poppy the flower a poppy uh -huh. a field of poppies 
the hills blooming with poppies. So those are examples of haiku. So this one mostly talks about um, nature, but yeah. there are some that um, talk about the human experience. And this is something that's interesting because I can relate to it because um, I'm married. And, and, and I guess it's it, um, people who have relationships can relate to it. With regard, so that's about your haikus. With regard to your photographs, what did you actually, to me, your photographs are works of art. That's why. Oh, I thank you. Um, so, wh when did you start getting interested into taking photos? Um, I guess it all started when, like, as a young mother, I would use my point and shoot camera to take photos of the kids just to document, you know, the their growing up years. And then when we moved here to Canada, in, uh, we're, I'm here in Vancouver. That was in 2005. I think Facebook was the in thing then. And I uh, I liked Facebook because it allowed me to get in touch with the people back home, yeah. like the grandparents, my parents, and our friends. So I, I was able to use the albums there uh, to document um, our activities here, like our vacation and the kids growing up yeah. um, and all of that, just to let them know that we're fine here, we're doing well and yeah. and um, and everything's fine. So I guess that's how I started. And then on Facebook too, I don't know when that was, I don't, I don't even remember the year. Once there was um, an ad that popped up about iPhone, iPhone photography and at that time, I inherited my daughter's iPhone 5 because before that, I think I was using an Android Samsung. So since the class was iPhone photography, it had to be an iPhone. So I said, well, I should try this out and see if, you know, if it's interesting. And that's how I got started with photography because before that, I didn't know anything about photography. Yeah. So that taught me the basics. Yeah. Plus, um, there were other courses also about editing photos because, um, like the photos you see, they're not um, they're not raw photos. Some of them are process, post processed, yeah. so you have to edit them a little. Like in my case, um, I use the app called Snapseed yeah. to um, just just do a little editing. Like for yeah. example, the the saturation or the color to make it a little bit brighter or more vivid yeah. and then cropping it or like um, yeah. what, cutting the photo so that you only show the important parts that so that you want or to make it look more appealing to yeah. the viewer something like that so I learned um, a lot about I mean, basic photography, f photography from that iPhone photo photography course. Yeah, so that's, that's how I got started. Yeah. yeah. But you know what? I always believe no matter, like anybody can take the iPhone photography course, but um, you have to have the eye, <laughs> you know, you, you have to have art within you. You have to have something within you um, because no matter how many how, how many courses you take but if you don't have you know that gift then I think the photographs won't be as good as yours <laughs> okay so um, yeah. before we show your video I uh, basically uh, you have selected um, seasons as uh, your feature in this um, in the video that we will be showing uh, why have you chosen uh, this as your topic for today um well because when i was putting this together i was thinking how how do i present it to you so that it's like um organized and yeah. um so i i thought of instead of putting a hodgepodge of you know different photos and different haiku it yeah. would be better to just show the seasons because most of my haiku too since i'm just starting yeah um have the 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 season in the haiku like if i'm talking about winter you you read winter in the haiku okay. or autumn and yeah. it, and it's a nice um way of showing also the beauty of vancouver yeah. 
I know. Because you see yes. um, the place as the seasons change. Yes. So I thought it was a good idea. No, it's great because like there's a theme, you know, there's order. And um, like you said, you know, the I love Vancouver. I've been there three times now. The first yeah. time was 10 years ago when I saw you. <laughs> uh, that yeah it's been a long time i can't I believe know, it's been I 10 know. years well i was supposed to go back last year but you know covid and i could have caught up with you but i mean it's in the books <laughs> once, <laughs> once international uh travel is allowed so anyway um we will now show our viewers your video and we will come back um after the video so okay yeah enjoy everyone a brand new day unfolding before my eyes spring dance a glimpse of mom Dreamy white tulips. Around me, not just the scent of flowers, a likeness, spring rain. Let spring linger, her sweet fragrance, dawn chorus of birds. Sunny days, your undivided attention. Summer slumber, no mad rush to break the silence of dawn. Throughout spring and summer, jittery. Bathed in gold under the vast sky, Naramata summer. Majestic sky, first glimpse of the other side. Sunflowers taking a bow, first days of summer. Another birthday, you and I chasing abstract sunsets. On a nearby pond, ducks stirring abstract reflections. Sun sets and the sky above the silhouetted city is ablaze. Swirling in the autumn wind, his fiery red words deafening. A fallen leaf looks up to autumn blazing under the blue sky. Floating between lily pads, autumn reflections. On Deer Lake, sanguine autumn lingering. Time moves between a row of winter trees, a row of fishermen. A walk in the forest, you and I in all shades of winter green. Time slows down when the snow falls and the roses blush. Up the winding stairs, I catch my breath in the stillness of sunset. So, thank you so much, Arlene, for sharing your photographs and your haikus. Um, we, we have been in awe of all your work. And so one last question before uh, we end this video. Um, I just want to know uh, 
why do you continue taking photos, sharing your photos and uh, your haikus? Um, wait, first of all, Sarah, thank you so much for having me and for featuring my photos and haiku. And I, I'm hoping that maybe um, uh, this this will inspire others to take up photography too and writing haiku. Um, I'm, I'm really in love with it. And it makes me look at the world around me in a different light. You know, like a child filled with wonder and curious about what's going on around. And I'm hoping that you too will, will um, get into it and so that you'll know why I'm so in love with it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so um, if uh, our viewers would like to know more or see more of your haikus and your photographs, we will be providing um, your Instagram account in the description below. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and please follow us and subscribe. So once again, Thank you, Arlene, and we are able to, as I said earlier, share positivity with others and also give others um, ideas on what they can do. So thank you once again. Thank you, everybody. Thank Bye. you, Sarah. Yeah, thank you, Arlene. Bye. Bye.